What is going on everybody? My name is Cheeseboy21 and today I'm going to be showing you how to post process your audio. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to quickly jump into how to post process your audio after you've recorded it and you're ready to upload a video to YouTube, whether it be for a gaming channel or whatever you want. It's honestly, it's all around, it's completely universal. I've actually been getting a lot of comments about how I edit my audio. I got it specifically on the video on the Twitch overlays, I believe, and people are saying, oh man, your audio sounds great. I'm just like, oh thanks, stop. There was this guy specifically that said, hey, can you show us how you edit your audio? And I'm just like, yeah, man, dude, that sounds great. And then some some dude commented and said, nah, this man hasn't uploaded a video in like 11 months. And I'm like, fam, get off my case. I'm here to make this video today to spite that guy, but also to help everyone else out. So the software that I use to edit my audio is a software called Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is a DAW or a digital audio workspace station as well as a recording software which is pretty much the exact same thing so we're gonna record something really quick and then we're gonna edit it I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast hey so that's actually not bad because it's gonna have some high stuff it's gonna have some quiet stuff and it has this stuff at the beginning so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to minimize all of the noise in the background like my fan and the window and the birds and the air so once you have this big chunk selected you're going to want to actually before you even record make sure you leave a little space which is called a noise plate or a sound plate and what that is going to do is it allows us to do what i just said so once you have that selected you go up to effects you go up to noise reduction and restoration and noise reduction process what you're going to do is you're going to throw this window over here because this isn't over on my other screen you're going to hit this little button once you have this selected and say capture noise print so now that that has it captured you're going to want to set your noise reduction to what you uh what you like so now you can actually what's cool about adobe audition is that it's a very dynamic software and it allows you to actually listen to your audio before uh you apply an effect to it so let's listen to it with it off before we play it before we uh, uh turn on this little uh effect here so this is what it sounds like with nothing i like bread in the morning and i like to eat eggs for breakfast hey <laughs> okay so that's our thing now and then with the noise reduction on it sounds like this i like bread in the morning and i like to eat eggs for breakfast hey so it might be a little difficult to actually hear if it's doing anything at the moment but i guarantee you that it is um and it's actually making these little little tiny dots here go away a little bit. So we're going to click apply. And now we have this completely noise free. Next step is to make sure we do a process called normalization. Normalization is taking all of the audio and taking like usually the max peaks of the entire clip and putting it up to a certain level. So right now it's about here. We're going to push it up to here. So we're going to hit control A or command A. Go up to effects amplitude and compression normalized process i usually use this number 93.6 but you can use any number that is pretty much your favorite 90 station never use 100 because that'll be really difficult to work with in compression stage so i would set it to like 91.9 or like 92.4 but if you're like me 93.6 is the way to go so hit apply and you can instantly see that this jaunt is super loud i'm afraid that if i play this it might blow your head off but we're gonna do it anyway i like bread in the morning and i like to eat eggs for breakfast hey well that was loud but hey so next we're gonna actually convert this into a stereo track because right now it's in mono i like to work in stereo a lot of people like to work in mono it's up to preference really but i work in stereo so we're gonna hit Control a favorites convert to stereo so now it's a stereo track we're going to do the exact same thing that we did before normalize it back to its peak volume because this clip is so small there's not a whole lot of dynamic range to it but we're still going to continue to add uh what I, what is called compression but in adobe audition is something called dynamic processing it's something called dynamic processing i totally knew that before i even cheated so yeah we're going to hit control a again and we're going to go to amplitude and compression dynamics processing so this actually might look a little freaky to you um, and it's a little confusing and i would dive into the art of compression but that would take so long so i have this compressor set to what i like 
pretty much I move around these two little nubs um, based on how loud my audio is. Right now it's huge and it's super loud, but you want to check through the entire audio to see where the peaks are quietest and where the peaks are the loudest. So our loudest peak is somewhere near one or zero dB and our quietest peak is actually closer to negative 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to negative nine and I'm going to use this little nug right here and move that up to about negative nine or maybe let's just go with 11. The way you can tell what number it is is you go above and below and then I'm going to take this which is our ratio and I'm going to move that up to about two to one. Two to one is pretty universal in terms of the way that it works for all vocals. So once we hit apply you'll instantly notice that our entire audio track has been kind of compressed down to a similar level of volume. So now that we have this compressed, what we're going to do is we're going to do some equalization. Equalization is probably one of the most important steps in making your audio sound really, really good. So what I do is I usually go to a parametric equalizer. I'll drag this over here. I don't know why they're open up on the other side. Pretty much what I do to start off on the default, this is what you'll see when you'll see it uh, right off the bat. I do usually, I will do a loudness maximizer. I will boost the lows a little bit, boost the highs a little bit, and I will add a little track in the middle and I will pull out the mids a little bit and that'll give this awesome V, this classic V kind of boost the highs, cuts the mids, boost the uh, lows as well. So we're going to listen to that without the equalizer and listen to it with the equalizer. So this is without. I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast. Hey, it's also a good chance to hear a bit of our compressor actually doing its job. So here it is with the equalizer. I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast. Hey, I'm actually going to boost that up just a little bit more and as well as the highs and cut out a little bit more of the mids. I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast. Hey, sounds pretty good to me, my friend. Um, so our next step is to actually normalize it one last time. And that would be usually where it would stop. A hard limiter is one of the weirdest things in the world, but trust me when I say it, it makes you sound pretty awesome. So what you're going to want to do if you want to, this is what it sounds like now without it. I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast. Hey, but now we're going to throw on a limiter and we're going to hear what the difference is. So you're going to go to effects, amplitude and compression, hard limiter. I usually set it to limit to negative three dB. And now we're going to click apply. And this is what it sounds like now. I like bread in the morning and I like to eat eggs for breakfast. Hey, it's pretty much it boosts everything to a maximum peak. It's also again for this audio track really hard and difficult to hear what it's actually doing in terms of the dynamic range of the audio track itself. But trust me when I say, when you have a two hour long gameplay that you need to edit, it's a super nice tool to have when your dynamics are all over the place. When you're screaming, when you're really quiet in intense situations, it's really nice when it pulls everything up and it equalizes everything out together. So that my friends is pretty much it in a nutshell. One of my pet peeves is I watch a lot of these tutorials and people tell you to do stuff and they don't explain at all why you're doing them. I've watched hundreds of tutorials and videos of people saying, just click here, click this normalize button and makes it loud, click this and this and this and this and then you're good. It'll all set it up for you. You're good. You're fine. You're great. Haha. <laughs> Woo. But they don't explain what these things do. What I really wanted to do in this video is I really wanted to get into the grid of it and explain to you what each of these things do so that you can pick and choose for yourself what you want your audio to sound like. This is what I like my audio to sound like. Some of you don't like your audio to be this loud. Some of you kind of want to set it down a little bit. Maybe you don't want your lows that high. Maybe you don't want to accentuate your high end. That's up to you. But now that I've taught you and shown you what these different parts of these things do, you can dive in yourself and you can do what you want to make your audio sound the best that it can for you. This is what it sounds like to me. It sounds great. But to you, it might not. It sounds like trash. It sounds awful. Or like or garbage. Arguable garbage. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was beneficial to you. That's my video. Have a great afternoon.